The striking infrared images were taken this summer by the James Webb Space Telescope. Far beyond the haze of Earth's atmosphere, the James Webb Space Telescope drifted in silence at its orbital home, a million miles from our planet, in the cold isolation of the second Lagrange point. After years of gazing into the abyss of space, mapping the infancy of galaxies and peering into the chemical signatures of distant exoplanets, Webb's latest and perhaps most extraordinary transmission left the scientific community in collective astonishment. Its final batch of photographs, taken during the culmination of a long, methodical observational campaign, unveiled phenomena so unexpected, so visually and scientifically jarring, that researchers were forced to reevaluate fundamental assumptions about the structure and fate of the cosmos. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. The images arrived in staggered bursts, each carefully filtered and assembled from the deep infrared data Webb had gathered over the past several months. One particular image commanded immediate attention. A region of space previously cataloged as empty, or nearly so, revealed an intricate lattice of filaments, glowing faintly in the mid-infrared spectrum. These thread-like structures sprawled across tens of millions of light years, connecting distant galactic clusters in an unimaginably vast cosmic web. Though astronomers had long hypothesized the existence of such filaments, the detail Webb captured exceeded the resolution of all previous instruments combined. What was once theoretical had now become a tangible sight, ancient, cold, and majestic in its reach. Closer inspection of this cosmic web exposed strange anomalies embedded within the filaments, concentrated nodes of energy that defied thermal mapping. These points emitted no light in visible or infrared wavelengths, yet disrupted the background radiation in their vicinity. Unlike black holes, they displayed no evidence of gravitational lensing, nor did they distort the fabric of nearby space in a predictable way. These invisible beacons became an immediate priority for theoretical physicists who had to consider whether Webb had inadvertently captured evidence of exotic matter, or perhaps even relics from the pre-Big Bang epoch, if such a period could be said to exist at all. One photograph, though, eclipsed all others in terms of emotional and intellectual impact. Directed toward a galaxy known as RxJ 2436-15, a swirling elliptical located some 10 billion light-years from Earth, Webb recorded an event horizon that appeared to shimmer, not due to gravitational lensing, but as though space itself were unstable around the galactic core. The central supermassive black hole exhibited irregular fluctuations, almost pulsing as if breathing. Over weeks, Webb took frame after frame documenting these pulses, which followed no known pattern and were not attributed to accretion disk variability. Instead, scientists noticed a strange symmetry, mirror-like reflections of radiation bursts that repeated in concentric rings. The suggestion arose that perhaps this black hole was interacting with dimensions beyond our own, a gateway or echo of realities long theorized in string theory but never before observed. Adding to the mystery, Webb's final deep field survey aimed at one of the oldest known regions of the universe, revealed an object whose light signature suggested an age older than the universe itself. According to all known cosmological models, no star or galaxy could have existed before the Big Bang, and yet there it was, an anomaly with redshift readings indicating it had formed more than 13.9 billion years ago. Even taking into account measurement error, no conventional physics could reconcile the data. The object was not just a star or a galaxy, but a tightly clustered mass of stars, seemingly suspended in an ancient fog of hydrogen untouched by heavier elements, as though untouched by time or evolution. Its spectral footprint lacked the usual fingerprints of iron or carbon, reinforcing the idea that it may have been formed from primordial gases in an isolated pocket of the early universe, or some remnant that predated known cosmic expansion. Beyond the scientific implications, the aesthetic impact of Webb's last images was profound. One expansive mosaic captured the dying throes of a star in such vivid clarity that the delicate arcs of expelled gas seemed like brush strokes on a cosmic canvas. Unlike previous telescopes that had captured such phenomena in a fragmented or grainy manner, Webb rendered every tendril of ionized gas in haunting detail, colored by the subtle hues of infrared translation. Scientists and artists alike were transfixed by the eerie beauty of it. 
the serene chaos of a solar system unraveling at its center, casting off millennia of matter in slow, glowing waves. In another quadrant, Webb's observations focused on a rogue exoplanet drifting alone through the void, untethered to any star. What made this image unsettling wasn't merely the concept of a planet without a sun, but what appeared to be a faint aurora flickering along its horizon. This suggested the presence of a magnetic field and possibly an atmosphere, rare for such isolated planetary bodies. Even more puzzling was a repeating pulse in the infrared coming from the planet's equator, as if some internal process was rhythmically heating it from within. Without a solar energy source, this energy had to originate from deep geological or potentially artificial sources. The possibility of alien technology was not openly endorsed, but the data stirred whispers and cautious speculation. Could this wandering world be a failed colony? A probe? A relic left adrift in the interstellar dark? The telescope also caught fleeting glimpses of rapid phenomena previously impossible to observe due to the limits of human-made instruments. For instance, in the heart of a stellar nursery in the Carina Nebula, Webb recorded a burst of star formation so rapid and energetic that it temporarily overwhelmed its infrared detectors. In less than a few days, entire stars coalesced and ignited, pulling in vast clouds of dust and gas. Though star formation typically occurs over thousands to millions of years, this compressed episode suggested unknown catalysts at work. Some proposed that supermassive gravitational waves, relics of galaxy mergers billions of years ago, might be triggering these events in highly localized regions. Others pondered the influence of dark energy fluctuations, subtle but vast disruptions in space-time. But perhaps the most emotionally stirring image came not from the deep cosmos, but from our own cosmic backyard. As a final calibration test, Webb pointed back toward our solar system, targeting the outer edges near the hypothetical boundary of the Oort cloud. There, it captured an image of a massive object, potentially the long-theorized Planet Nine, gliding slowly against the curtain of stars. The object was enormous, many times the size of Earth, and its surface bore curious patterns that weren't consistent with a gas giant or ice planet. This discovery, while technically within our celestial sphere, had eluded detection for centuries, and Webb's acute infrared vision had finally pierced the veil of distance and darkness to reveal it. The implications for planetary science were immediate, suggesting our own solar system was more dynamic and complex than previously thought. Some of Webb's most surprising photographs weren't of large or bright objects, but of the cold, silent voids between them. These apparent empty spaces had always been assumed to be dark and inert. Yet when Webb tuned its sensors to unprecedented sensitivity, it began detecting strange fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background, tiny ripples that weren't predicted by standard inflation theory. These fluctuations exhibited localized pockets of negative temperature, areas colder than the theoretical vacuum of space. This revelation challenged the assumption that the universe's background radiation was uniform after the Big Bang. Some theorized that these pockets were interactions with quantum vacuum fluctuations, or possibly the fading echoes of alternate universes nudging into our own at cosmological boundaries. What truly set Webb's final photographs apart was not just their clarity, but their depth of time. Each image was not simply a snapshot, but a layered window into eons of cosmic evolution. The infrared data allowed scientists to peel back epochs, revealing how matter arranged itself when the universe was young, chaotic, and full of unshaped energy. Observing galaxies in various states of formation revealed a strange asymmetry. Galaxies that should have formed symmetrically, influenced only by gravity and time, instead appeared skewed, as though nudged or sculpted by unseen forces. Some of these galaxies displayed spirals where none should have existed yet, and others were found with vast voids at their cores, not caused by black holes, but by some unknown repelling mechanism. One breathtaking mosaic captured a galactic collision mid-process, two titanic galaxies merging, their spiral arms entwined like cosmic dancers. Normally such collisions produce violent shockwaves and chaotic scattering of stars, but Webb's image showed what appeared to be a highly ordered structure forming at the intersection, a crystalline formation of stars and gas, arranged in a lattice never seen before. Its geometric precision baffled researchers. Was this a natural occurrence? A byproduct of gravitational dynamics never before observed? Or had Webb inadvertently documented the hand of intelligence at a scale far beyond comprehension? 
If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on the James Webb's final photos? What might they reveal next? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.